Hello and welcome to Android Made Easy. In this episode I will be showing you how to change some of your system settings. Uh, when you're first in the system settings menu you'll see a bunch of different options. Um, yours probably will be different than mine if you have like, a different uh, model Android device. The first thing I'm going to be showing you is how to change your lock screen. You may not have a password on your phone, you might want to learn how to know how to put a password on your phone, so I'm going to show you how. From the settings menu you just need to scroll down to location and security then scroll down to change lock screen and then you just type in the current password you have if, if you don't have a password or PIN number you won't get this screen but since I have a previous password I have to type in my password alright now I can choose from a, different, a few different options there's none which I'll show you what that is none just means you slide it you slide the screen to unlock your phone. This is what it looks like. Slide to unlock. I slide. It's done. Alright, let's go over to the next one. Next one is pattern. That's the one I had before. In this one you use a series of nine dots and you draw a pattern to be your unlock screen. So you can draw just a simple pattern if you want like this. Then it'll say you click continue and you have to enter it again. Okay. All right. Now when I lock it, it will have a pattern screen. The lock screen's orientation is the same, no matter which way you have your phone tilted. All right. And the last, and there's two more. There's pin and password. They're you, they're about the same. But pin number lets you only do four a four digit code. Enter the password I want to set it is one, two, three, four. Alright, one, two, three, four. Press OK. Now enter my pin number. One, two, three, four. Alright, so I'm gonna turn that off for now. Oh, by clicking none. Oops. Now we're going to go over how to uninstall applications. If you install an application from another source or you don't have access to the marketplace because you don't have internet or whatever, you can just click on applications and manage applications. And then this will load up a list of all the applications you have installed. You can even see which ones are currently running if you click on this tab, but it will take a while to load them all up. Okay, here's a list of the applications I have installed. And at the bottom it will tell you how much storage space you have left. Mine says I have 253 megabytes free. So if I wanted to, I could uninstall something, like if I wanted to uninstall Task Killer or whatever, I just tap on it. And I can either stop it from running like if it was taking up too much memory, I can stop it from loading or I can uninstall it. And here I can see the permissions. Alright, now we're going on to keyboards. If your device came with swipe pre-installed and it's not selected, by clicking on the language and keyboard option in settings, you can change your input method. As you see here, mine has Samsung keyboard and swipe. Select input method will let you switch between it, them. So if I click swipe, I'll now have the swipe keyboard. You can go through the tutorial if you want, but I'm not going to. Alright, if you want to switch back to the default keyboard, you can go here, language keyboard, select input method, and choose whichever one is at the top. Mine is Samsung keyboard, and then back to the basic standard keyboard. Alright, last thing we're going to go over is battery. You can go to about this device, and then battery use. 
The time at the top probably is not completely accurate. As you see, mine says it's been on for four days on the battery, which is not true. But you can see how much different how much battery each of your applications uses up in estimate. Mine says 35% uh, of my battery is used up by the display, 12% was used up by the operating system, Wi-Fi used up 11%, and my email service used up 4%. So this can help you find out what you need to get rid of to make your battery last longer. All right, that's the basic overview of system settings. There's a little bit more in here, but we're not going to really go over that. That's just the main stuff. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye.